we are the only country that had a hint what 2020 would look like. At the beginning of the year, we had a prophetic word. It was, it was in form of a hit song, party after party. But because we only know one type of party, we missed the message. The song went on to be a hit internationally. Th that was God giving up on us and giving the message to someone else. Epic fail. They missed it too. Hey, party after party after party. Hey! it be. And God tried. Anyway, the party started. Uh, it started with the breaking news of the attack of desert locusts. Uh, it was a very worrying story, but it didn't last too long because of two reasons. Uh, one, um, when locusts come into a place, they come to eat food. We didn't have. Two, uh, when they got into Uganda, they found when we were already eating their cousins, grasshoppers. Yeah, they were like, you guys are gross. We were like, yes, you eat our food, we eat you. After locusts, everything just started going wrong. Black Lives Matter protests, police brutality here and abroad, landslides. UCC was talking about things that you don't understand. 50Ks were flying all over NTV. Corona, as in, it became too much. An island on Lake Victoria just said, guys, that's it. Bye. <laughs> Sailed off. Naluba Ledam had to get into the situation and be like, guys, no one is going anywhere. We have to go through this year together. <laughs> then the other thing, uh, but first wait, when I said 50K, where did you put Chama? Okay, we're going to fix it in post. The biggest highlight of the year was COVID, um, but already a lot has been said about COVID. Everyone has spoken about COVID. But uh, leaving uh, certain parts like how in the first three months we had more corona songs than corona patients, or how government gave us beans that you can only boil ready if you had nuclear energy, or leaving the idea of government giving every village one radio so that students can study. <laughs> every village, one radio, and at Logawa wins. Anyway, two other issues stood out for me. One of them, our hospitals have been overwhelmed for years now. Way before Corona, our hospitals were already overwhelmed. Every time they would get a positive, they would make effort to go to the villages to look for contacts. As in, the president even went ahead to tell border border people that they should have a book where they record our names, email address, your photo. Because how much was your ride? The second thing, during lockdown, some Ugandans were doing yoga. Do you know how many things you must be done with for you to start doing yoga? Uh, have you washed your clothes? Have you mopped the house? Uh, have you washed the dishes? Do you know how free you have to be to... Have you gone through your partner's phone? There's yaka to load. There's children to beat. Yoga. COVID undisputedly ruled 2020. Nothing nearly happened. That This year, I am very humble with resolutions. I, I just want to be alive. Uh, this year, I'm going to be very low maintenance. I just want to breathe. But a very special mention to our frontline workers. Uh, you guys have put in a shift even when the system let you down. You are the real heroes. As, being in Uganda, frontline is real frontline. Like you are front of the line. You are your own mask, you are your own glove. It's like going to a war in pyjamas. Uh, then in July, uh, first wait, are, are we going to talk about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett? They're not special? They're not the first. Ah, okay. But they're celebs. Move on, Uncle Move. We won't talk about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. Uh, they already talked about it on their own show. 2020 was also the year for the electoral campaigns, but because of COVID, Seven called a press conference and said uh, if we had elections with COVID still around, we would be mad. He was very happy with what he said. He got home. Uh, he was very sure this time we would end. Second, he will be president for a moment until COVID goes away. He was wrong. He reached, checked the constitution, found that Kadaga would be president. Changed his mind. Now campaigns are happening. 11 presidential candidates this race. As, but the, the day I listened to my Ambala is the day I realized why America only pays attention to two candidates in the election. Because my Ambala said if we vote him into power, he will abolish tax. Okay, we have a problem with tax, but my Ambala, not to that extent. Then we had uh, candidates that were suspending their campaigns because of lack of funds. Guys, we're a broke country. We can't vote a broke president. Your ideas have failed to work on you. You want them to work on us. As in, you, one person, they are not working. Now you want to set them on us like a wildfire. So by September, we started to think that the world was going to end um, and people were worried about dying alone. So everyone started getting married. So many weddings. Unfortunately, the world didn't end. Now you're stuck. 
first look at yourselves before I continue. 2020 was also the year for the US presidential election. One candidate was 74, the other was 77. The older one won, which means that that message they have always told African countries that the future lies in young people was a scam because now their next four years are going to be about their first. If you were in neutral watching their first debate, it would be very easy for you to vote the moderate. But Democrats, you didn't like Trump so much, you brought Biden. Even here in Uganda, when your ex wants to get back at you, she dates your father, not, not grandfather. Back here in Kampala, 2020 was still being 2020. So we were desperate to turn the air around. So what we did, we sent a burnt offering of our academic papers at Makerere. Our offering was not found holy and pleasing. So it was rejected. Maxisa for his singer to work of a copy. 2020 also had uh, Uganda well represented abroad, both in sports and in aeroplane inspection. Solid representation. On the tourism scene, after a successful Miss Kavi, Honorable Chwanda upgraded to organizing the MTV Africa Music Awards. Yes, we are going to host them. I just rather maintain that, you know, if at home you successfully shave, it doesn't mean that you should now open a barber shop. Severely. Anyway, we hope that our artists will walk away with more collabs than selfies. The arrest of Thames and Omale was a big story, but the real highlight of December was Jerome, the man who ignored all warnings and uh, walked into another man's house. I think every time Jerome is doing something that is risky, a voice reminds him that he's his only mother's child. And I'm certain this time it told him right from the gate. Jerome, Jerome. How many times have I called you? You are your mother's only child. But Jerome didn't walk away. Anyway, we are already a few days into 2021 and already doves refused to fly. <laughs> and in China, they are, of course, still making gravy out of anything. So we can't keep our hopes up. Happy New Year.